I've been called the supermodel of hands. I think it's because I've had the longest career of any hand model out there. In those little seven inches, I have to convey a whole feeling, a whole story, a whole thought process about what's going into that advertising campaign. I wear gloves quite often, especially when I'm outside to protect my hands from the elements and from things that can happen. But I take really good care of them, and you'll see why I'm a hand model because I have flawless skin and nice long nails and very graceful hands. And that's really become my signature. I never know when I'm gonna have a hand modeling job. So I could get called now and have to be somewhere in an hour. So my hands always have to be ready to go. I have lots of polishes that I bring around every job, just the basics. I bring sunglasses because a lot of times you're under really hot lights, so you have to protect your eyes. I'm the first to joke about it, like I wear gloves, I'll go out to the bar, I can completely make fun of my life because everybody just makes fun of me all the time pretty much. It is a fun job to be silly about, but you know what, I am the most serious about what I do and I am the most professional person. Hand modeling is incredibly competitive. So that means if I have a paper cut and the next hand model doesn't have a paper cut and they don't have to pay the expense of having photo shot, they're not gonna choose me. So I always just have to be perfect. And you can't have a lot of ego involved with it because we audition a lot and sometimes people reject your hands. <laughs> so there's two very different ways of working. One is for print where we're working with a camera, right? And it's stills. So that means having my hands look the most graceful and, and support the product in the best way they possibly can. If you're on TV or video, it's a whole different set of techniques. That's all about hitting a mark and doing a movement and being able to recreate that movement time and time again. I love to do both, and I've really created a technique around it. So now, I actually teach it. And there was never someone to teach me, and I'm really glad that I can teach other people this very unique thing that really only I can teach, in a sense. I think hand modeling is really my dream job. I get to be a performer, and yet, I run my own business. I've done this for a really long time, so my hands look like they're in their 20s, but I'm really not, obviously. But I've been able to parlay this into a nice long career, much longer than most models are able to do. So I feel like I can really age gracefully into this career well into my 90s. <laughs>